Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. This is part 7 and we have the small key, the serum key. So we're on our way... Oh, that's a bit laggy there. Hopefully that won't happen again. Yeah, it seems okay now. Um, we are on our way to get the code. We will get that and afterwards we will use it on a coded door, obviously. And that will be in this part too. Th these doors are actually really cool. I'm also thinking about redoing... Actually, I should mention this first. We're going to steal this ammo here. And then we are going to turn around. We are going to run back. We're going to avoid these two spiders. Which is the first time we encounter them. Really cool door. And then we're going to put the ammo away. Because we don't need it just yet. I'm thinking of re-recording the intro, because uh, my intro was uh, not as good in quality as what it should be. And that is because the settings I used uh, were not optimal, but it was the only way I could record without lag. And now it seems to work normally. The only lag I receive is because my CD is very bad. Like, it's in really bad condition. But I'm surprised it even works. Um, so yeah, I'm going to re-record it, re-release that so it looks better. So if you see that pop up, it's nothing new, it's just the intro. Okay, so we will go back in here. You'll get to see where the second spider is, because he's going to try and jump on me. And then I'm going to try and dodge him. And run, Chris, run. Okay, so if we look at this uh, pool table and think of it like a clock face, I am facing 12 o'clock, my back is at 6 o'clock, Chris's shotgun arm, his right hand, is at 3 o'clock, and Chris's left arm is at 9 o'clock. That would make the pool cue say 2.15. So we want to pull this spider over a bit more actually. Okay. Hmm. Where are you, Mr. Spider? Okay, so just run around those. Uh, as they're, they're not that hard to avoid. I like to pull them over by the table first normally so I can avoid them better, but I took a chance and it paid off. Oh, that's really gone over the hole now. I just realised it sorted itself out for me. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we just got the code 215, and we're going to use that now. Um, I believe it's in this room. I really want to get the map for this area, because I'm having trouble remembering like its layout and where most things are. Okay, so 2.15. There we go. And now they unlight. Now we can go in here. We ourselves can't do anything in here yet. It's a chemical room for the plant boss, where you have to play as Rebecca, and she has to make a chemical to use to save Chris while he's been... Yeah, I'll just ruin the story before you get there. Okay, so now we're going to run down here, grab this key very, very quickly. Or, not so quickly, in my case. Take the dormitory key, and now run. Because the bees will attack you. Because they're very, very mean. I really thought they got me there. Okay, so here we have another statue. And we have three herbs, and you... 
uh, I'm not sure in the, if in the original you can combine three herbs. Um, three green. Oh, right, yeah, I need to use the key first. So we'll unlock that. And discard it. We will now pick up a herb and use it because we're on caution. But before we leave this area, we are going to pick up the two herbs. But we don't need to do that just yet. Okay, so we are now in the dormitory. That's the dormitory bathroom. I think. I'm trying to remember if there's... Um, well, by the music, there's zombies in here. I remember it. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. There is something in there. There's a handgun clip. But I don't want to waste any bullets trying to get it, so... Right, we have the dormitory map. Which is very, very handy. Okay, plant 42. This is important. Um, so, I'm not going to read this out, but I am going to give you enough time to easily pause it so you can read it yourselves. If you've never done the boss before, that is a very, very handy piece of information. Okay, oh right, yeah, I need to open the drawer. So there we get some more shotgun ammo. <clears throat> and that is why I kept the small key with me. I, I knew there was another locked desk in here. Um, right, these can be moved out of the way. And I think... Yeah, I think we have to go down here now. think this is the area where the sewers okay yeah I remember where this is three crates we have to push into the water okay I'm gonna come back for that one because uh, I have made a mistake I need to push it backwards before I can push it forwards. Look at that lovely water texture. I didn't even realise there was water. I shouldn't make fun of the graphics in this game. For its time, they were absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's go get this third one. What you have to do is... Standard puzzle solving ability. You have to push it just past the corner. So you can come round and push it off the wall. And now you have to push it all the way down. I'm going to guess that's meant to be a UMB for Umbrella, but I'm not entirely sure. We haven't seen any reference towards Umbrella so far in this playthrough. Okay, so yeah, this puzzle is kind of pointless. It's like stupidly easy. It's really not difficult to find and figure out. And it just wastes a lot of time, so it's kind of annoying. And there we go. Now we can cross. So we have two herbs there as well. Wait, this area already? 
This isn't what I thought. This is the lab. I'm oh, damn. I don't like this area. Every time I play this game, I forget about this area. Okay, so this is the um, the bottom of the plant. We will take the small key. And... I keep... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm uh, mistaking this for something, but I, I'm sure there's sharks in this water. But I've yet to see them. So I'm thinking maybe I'm confusing... No, there they are. I don't like the sharks and they don't like me. They don't actually do that much damage though. Ah, there's the sea room key. I think it's the door to the right. It's like basically an armory. They have loads of really cool ammunition, weapons. So what do we have over here? Yes we will. We just drained the water. So that means the sharks can no longer swim around. So we're pretty much safe from them. But still, do not go near them. Do not go near them because they will still try to bite you. You can hear them flopping around, it's quite good. So yeah, I think this is like an armory. It's got um, ammo and things in here. Yeah, there's two clips up here. Are they? Ah, there we go. I seem to remember there being more than two clips of ammo. I remember some like shotgun shells and some other things. Yeah. So this is uh, putting us up quite well for ammo. Oh! Almost missed that. Oh, where did, where were you? You were here. Will you take the dormitory key? Yes. I think that's for room 003, which is in the B room. One of the... I think there's another couple of doors in there. Just checking. Okay, so the sharks are to in front of us. We are going to run this way because I think there was a door that we haven't gone in. So there's two little ones and one big one. No, there was no door, extra door. Just the three we went in. I could take one of those herbs, but, well, I, I couldn't because I don't have the uh, bag space, but never mind, I, I could come back for it. I'm actually going to head back to the save room now and end the part there. And then in the next episode we'll go into room 003. Let's just check the key. So yeah, it's 
and check the bed. We will ignore the uh, handgun clip in the sink in the dormitory just because it will probably cost me more ammo than the handgun clip is worth. I could try and dodge him but then I'll probably get bitten. Okay, so before I end the part, I will sort out our bag for the next episode. We need the key, we don't need the small key. So we will bring out the hang-on clips and quickly combine them and put them away and then that will be all. Okay, that's all for this part. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one where we will probably take on Plant 42. See you then!